Well, Viola, what was the motivation behind creating a solution like Isaac? It's very much what the IDC study discussed and Crawford mentioned. It's simplification, it's ubiquitous management, it's, it's recognizing that our customers need to do more with less. Um, the CEO and uh, president of Technology Support Industry Association, J.B. Wood, published a book named uh, Complexity Avalanche in late 2009. And in that book, he defined what I'm going to show in this graph, which is features versus time. And the first line describes the growth in terms of complexity and features and functionalities in terms of solutions in the technology space, what the potential value of products and solutions that can be recognized by, by our customers. The line below is the actual usage of technology. What is the current value that our customers are recognizing with the products and solutions they provide? As technology vendors, we have to do a better job in terms of what J.B. Wood called the consumption gap. And as you can see with that pictorial, you see an increase in consumption gap over time. So what do we do to allow our customers to recognize the full return on investment of the technologies and solutions? In the book, Mr. Wood discussed reducing the consumption gap using services organization. And we believe that on top of services, if you can deliver tools to our customers that are easy to use and can allow them to do more with less, we have then successfully reduced this consumption gap. There has been generational studies that speak to Generation X wanting a better balance between home life and work life, and Generation Y wanting to have a more intimate social relationship with their company. And we think by delivering social products to social people, i.e. the social enterprise, we've addressed both uh, generational needs. Well, you make a convincing case. Can you drill down a little bit and show us how Isaac works? Sure, absolutely. The last bullet in this slide speaks to consumerization of IT, and we've talked about and recognized the bring your own device. Again, part of simplifying work-life, home-life balance is being able to give individuals the opportunity to bring the tools they use at home to work in a secure, robust, scalable manner. So here's an example on the screen of an iPad, uh, a good example of smartphone, tablet in terms of consumerization of IT. I'm going to be demonstrating this using Salesforce.com's chatter. Salesforce.com's enterprise social uh, tool chatter is a, is a mashup of best of Twitter and Facebook combined. We've been using Salesforce at our en enterprise since 2003 for all our mission critical customer facing functions, sales, marketing, service and support and so on and so forth. So you notice the command that I've issued at the bottom here starts with a simple Hashtag find Chris. Natural language. My customers in Spain will be finding Chris in Spanish and my customers in German issuing the command in German. So one takeaway here is natural language, very common, using an alias Chris. It's not a complicated protocol IP address or, or MAC address. And Isaac's first response through chatter is all of this rich information about Chris. You'll see his network name, the SSID. Chris is a mobile user. He's connected to a network that's wireless. He's on the second floor of our corporate office in Andover, Massachusetts. You see the MAC address and IP address, all of the information about the tools that Chris is using to conduct his business. You also see the signal strength and, and, and information regarding the wireless network, which consists of, of an access point and a controller. Now notice this first response when you talk about productivity and efficiency. Incredible amount of forensics with that first chat that comes from the machine. The second representation is a graphical 24-hour bandwidth utilization of the controller and the access point that a Chris is, is, is associated to. Often when you're troubleshooting and you want to manage a help desk in an efficient manner, you want to have historical information, not just present forensics. And this is uh, technology that allows you to have access to that. Now the last automated response to this simple find Chris is using Google Maps, a topological aerial view of our headquarter location in Andover. Now you might ask, why would that be useful information? As someone who's responsible for global services with hundreds, and in terms of Siemens Enterprise, thousands of field engineers, imagine this social product construct where now you have forensics about a piece of machinery and you can route that information to your ticketing uh, capability, your CRM solution, 
and then map this information and automatically create a workflow where your field engineers have location information, forensics information, and exactly where to go to remediate what may be a potentially defective component. So this is incredible use case of not only human to machine, but machine to machine social collaboration. And you can see here we've used an iPad as an example with Chatter. But the same sequencing in terms of issuing a social command and having products participate in that uh, can be found in Facebook and Twitter. At Seton Hill, we've installed Twitter as the, as the social media of choice. And, and that's, again, a multi-channel contact options that all of our customers can benefit from. This, to us, is a perfect example of consumerization of IT.